Hey guys, Paul Shire with JoeBlow.com here at CinemaCon. Just got out of the Fox panel uh, presentation here. Fox definitely had a little more of the most entertaining uh, presentation so far. They opened the entire thing with uh, none other than Vanilla Ice performing Ice Ice Baby, which I did not expect. And of course they had the new Ice Age Collision Course playing in the background, so you get it. They showed us an extended trailer for Ice Age Collision Course, which uh, it looks pretty good. I don't mind the Ice Age movies. I think they're fine. We did get clarification that the entire creative team behind Deadpool, including Tim Miller and of course Ryan Reynolds, will be back for the sequel. Signed, sealed, delivered. It's yours. For X-Men Apocalypse, we did get a special cut uh, CinemaCon trailer for it, which was a way more uh, action, exciting kind of trailer rather than kind of the doom and gloom trailers we've gotten so far with the film. And actually, I really prefer this tone and this angle for it. Uh, we did get some new looks at Apocalypse, and I feel like they've kind of been refining along the way, especially after the initial backlash. And I think at this point, I'm very, very comfortable with the way he looks. It's Poe Dameron as Apocalypse, who's the best. The next thing we got to look at was Fox's comedy slate, and they first brought out Anna. Kendrick, uh, Adam Devine, and Zac Efron, who came out to introduce Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. It looks funny to me. I don't know. Maybe I just have some really lowbrow humor. Definitely do. And if you like R-rated, raunchy type stuff, um, based on what I've seen so far, Mike and Dave looks like a pretty fun flick. Anna Kendrick, after seeing the R-rated raunchiness, she came out to introduce the kids' movie Trolls. From initially hearing about Trolls, I can tell you my excitement level was at exactly zero. Looking much better than the Smurf catastrophe that I was expecting it to be. Lastly, on the comedy front, we got to look at Brian Cranston and James Franco's uh, Why Him? If you're a fan of James Franco, if you're a fan of Brian Cranston, which of course you are, having these two guys go head to head in an R-rated uh, comedy is just, it's a match made in heaven. It's great to see Brian Cranston kind of stepping back into that comedy role that he started in. I think a lot of people forget that that's where he started. He's typically looked at as, you know, his Breaking Bad character, which we all love, but that part's gone way too long, so I'm done with that. The coolest thing that we saw today was a first look uh, kind of trailer thingy for Assassin's Creed. Now, I know there's always skepticism when it comes to uh, video game movies, and rightfully so, because there's some absolute garbage out there that's been adapted, but Assassin's Creed looks badass as hell. Uh, Michael Fassbender has you know, completely committed himself to this film, he's very hands-on, and if you're a fan of the games, then you know, there's certain check-the-block things you're looking for, and I think you're going to find them. If you're not a fan of never played the games, there's still plenty for you there too. Stylistically, it looks amazing. I went on the set and did a set visit, which we'll have up as soon as they lift the embargo, and I can talk more about it, but it just enhances everything that I saw. I think there's, there's cause to be excited for Assassin's Creed. Most exciting thing they showed today. The next film, we got a first look trailer for The Birth of a Nation, which is Nate Parker's uh, film that just did amazing, has won all kinds of awards uh, so far, and is now getting a big release from Fox Searchlight. It looks amazing. Um, Nate Parker came out, and uh, he's just, he's such a talent, and he stuck it with his guns to have this film made. He said he sh they shot it in 27 days, and it looks, I mean, it looks like it took a hell of a lot longer to make this film, so, I mean, absolute kudos to him, and for, you know, sticking to his guns. I think it's going to be a tough film to market, but who knows, it could be uh, a, a, an Oscar contender for him on down the line, so. We'll see. The next thing we got to look at was Tim Burton's uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. It's got a really, really dark edge to it based on this ex uh, extended trailer we saw today. Uh, some of the creatures look, especially the villainous ones, look really creepy. Stuff of nightmares creepy. This is like Tim Burton's X-Men First Class. Is exactly what it looks like to me. So if that sounds like something that appeals to you, then it's for you. After the they got through all the main films, Fox went and showed us our their future slate, uh, kind of like a real quick blast. Uh, so I can't remember them all, but I'm gonna try and run down some of them. So we know how we have another Maze Runner. We've got the Untitled Wolverine. There was no Wolverine shown today. Uh, nothing specific, so keep that in mind. Um, I know that there was talk of there being a reveal, but there was not, and there was not a title reveal or anything. Just said Untitled Wolverine film. So. Also had an untitled Marvel X-Men film was on that slate, so we don't know what that one is. Um, Captain Underpants, Alien Covenant, which we know is currently in production. Uh, Greatest Showman on Earth with Hugh Jackman. Uh, Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Oh, can't wait for that. Uh, and there was a couple others, but it went by so fast you're just going to have to forgive me I didn't get them all. I'm only human. I tried.
Okay, so the big surprise at Fox's panel today was that director James Cameron took the stage. The long gestating Avatar sequels uh, have just gotten bigger. Now it is officially four films, with the first sequel set to debut December 2018. So that's what he says. They did show some concept art for some of the stuff they're working on, and I can say that a lot of it looked quite impressive. It was kind of out of the setting of Pandora. Uh, looked like there were some future cities, like some actually urbanized cities, lots of vehicles, different creatures. It all went by very quickly, but I can say that I was intrigued. Um, I haven't been excited for an Avatar sequel, let alone four, but this gives a little more incentive. So I think if maybe Jim were to share just a little bit more with us, we can get that excitement level back up. And that's it for the Fox panel. So, yeah, I think Assassin's Creed was the coolest thing. Uh, I look forward to sharing our set visit report. Thanks for joining us. There will be more CinemaCon coverage here at joblo.com, so stick around. Mm -hmm.